mission that you have the money to pay. Here's the money. Kid, this isn't much. It will only be good enough for one night. I think that's enough. Good. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Morgan. Willie Morgan. Morgan. That name sounds familiar to me. Have you already been in our lovely little town? Many years ago, but I was very young. Maybe you remember my dad, Henry Morgan. Henry Morgan, you said? Something springs to mind, but I think a long time must have passed. Yes, a long time. I'd say ten years since he disappeared. And why do we have the pleasure of seeing you again in Bone Town? Definitely for the hospitality. I agree. Here at the Dead Man Inn, the customer is of the utmost importance. I have no doubt about it. Now I have to get back to my job. Help yourself to the key to room number 10. Thank you. Once you are settled in your room, you'll find a pre-printed form. I need to complete the check-in. Bring it back as soon as you have filled it out. All right, thank you. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> You chose room number 10. It's the only key you can take. Technically, it wasn't exactly a choice. It doesn't change the fact that you can only take the key to room number 10. All right. It's the key to room 09, the one indicated on my father's letter. I absolutely have to take it. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> Hello, boss. It's me. You won't believe this. Henry Morgan's son just showed up here. Son, why did he come here? He hasn't said too much about the reason for his visit. What do you want me to do? Do I warn Bob? Yes, standard procedure. Okay. As soon as the kid comes back here, Bob will take a good look at the belongings of the young Morgan. Sure, boss. I'll keep you posted. See you later. If I take it down, the innkeeper would surely notice. I'd rather not touch that substance. I shudder to think what it might be. Color and density do not bode well. Better not go inside. If the innkeeper finds out, I'd be concerned for my safety. According to what the innkeeper said, this is his room. I'd really prefer not to enter. There are a series of pictures portraying famous people who seem to have stayed here. Stanko Stupar immortalized Abraham Lincoln. Behind that door is the orderly's room. It's locked. Owls. Those eyes make me feel quite uncomfortable. Owls again. I don't need it. I'd rather admire it on this wall. I didn't know Walken came here too. He's been immortalized by the artist Ayman Oktar. There's no need to take it with me. It's a Riyadh Kasim work. This is the room my dad told me about. I have to get inside. This is the room my dad told me about. I have to get inside. Locked. I want the other guests to enjoy these works as well. Tiago Huazel painted this subject. I'd rather leave it where it is. Maybe the youngest visitor to the Dead Man Inn. 
This portrait is the work of Tiago Huacel. It really belongs here. I wouldn't want to upset the symmetry of this place. It seems like a piece of modern art. Restricted to personnel only, it doesn't lead to other rooms. It looks more like a second entrance. I guess it leads outside, but right now I have other priorities. I guess it leads outside, but... I can't open it. It's locked. Peculiar scent. I wouldn't say it's good, but at least it adds a different touch to the place. It looks like a communication system. Better complete the check-in. I wouldn't want the innkeeper to accuse me of using a service that still doesn't belong to me. It looks like a rudimentary room bell. It's summer. It doesn't make any sense to heat up an already warm room. First I have to fill in this form, and then I can use the services of the room. I haven't got a pen with me, and can't see one around. Better go back to the innkeeper and ask for more info. I don't think I should touch anything. That yellow tape does not bode well. It's sealed. It looks like something bad happened. I'm not sure I want to know what. I'd rather not touch that substance. I saw the stain in the hallway. You have very good eyesight. It blends well with the rest of the upholstery. Well... I'm waiting for the cleaning lady to use her expertise to remove that. I'd like to have a touch of freshness in the air when it's done. I expect that won't be easy. I saw the stain in the hallway. You have very good eyesight. It blends well with the rest of the upholstery. Well... I'm waiting for the cleaning lady to use her expertise to remove that. I'd like to have a touch of freshness in the air when it's done. I expect that won't be easy. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> It's the key to room 09, the one indicated on my father's letter. I absolutely have to take it. You chose room number 10. It's the only key you can take. Technically, it wasn't exactly a choice. It doesn't change the fact that you can only take the key to room number 10. All right. Better not waste it.
Thanks, and goodbye. <laughs> I'm back with the form you talked about, but I haven't got a pen with me, and I still have to fill it out. Doesn't matter. Give it to me so I can write the essential data down. Thank you. Name and surname. Your memory is a bit spotty. I'm Willie Morgan. Sorry, kid. You know how it is. Age plays shameful tricks. You seem like a different person now. Kinder and more friendly. Maybe I left you with a bad impression before. I'd like to make things right now. Did you hear that too? Uh, hear what? There are a lot of noises in this inn. Did you hear it now? It's probably some little animal. The one who made that sound must be a big one. And how? What now? Did you hear that noise again? Yes, but I don't think you should be worried. It's normal. In fact, I think it's finished now. How can you be so sure? It happens all the time. As soon as you open a door, drafts let the wind through and it does funny things. Okay, what else do you need? I'd say I'm okay with this. I have everything I need. Only name and surname? Here in Bone Town, we need very little information. The rest will fall right into place. Okay, now I must get back to work. Me too. I'm very busy. With what? Okay, thank you. Um... Better not waste it. It might be useful to him. At least there would be something positive in his relationship with the guests. It has an animalistic fragrance. Not nice, but bearable. I have no idea how to use a quill. I can hardly write even with a normal... If I take it down, the innkeep... It's locked. Behind that door is the orderly's room. Oh my god! And to think that, according to the innkeeper, it was just a little animal. Luckily, I always keep the important things with me. Never trust anyone. Dad was right. I better warn the innkeeper. What the hell happened here? get here so fast. I heard screaming and thought there was a lady in danger. But I didn't even scream. It was my sixth sense, boy. The sixth sense of an old innkeeper. What could have happened according to you? I think I left the door open and a board did the rest. It wouldn't be the first time those animals have made trouble here at the dead man. But, according to you, is such a thing actually possible? Forget it. So how did this happen, in your opinion? A very strong draft ransacked my room. You should be more careful about leaving the door open. Hurricanes are frequent this time of year. Summer hurricanes localized into one room in particular? You can't rule anything out. Otherwise, what do you think? I guess a robber came in and trashed the whole room. I cannot be 100% sure, but all clues lead to that. Have they taken anything valuable from you? I put a bank check for $100,000 in the safe. What safe? Hmm. Yes, I always travel with a gold bar. Yes, of course. 
And do you usually leave it in hotel rooms as a tip? I am extremely generous. My wedding ring, it was worth a fortune. How old is your wife? That is rude. You don't ask a lady her age. I have all my valuable things on me. Better this way. The Dead Man Inn is the most comfortable in the area, but it doesn't have any insurance in the event of theft, disappearance, or death. I was lucky it was just a theft. Unfortunately, there have been many such cases in Bone Town lately. Seeing the current condition of this room, can I have room 09 now? I already explained that I can't. I'm awaiting a huge influx of tourists in the next few days, and I need that room. If you could wait just a few minutes, I will clean everything up like it was before. Then, as compensation, I won't make you pay from tomorrow night on. Your kindness astounds me. Seems I can't do anything other than accept it. Wise choice. Now, if you can clear out, I have to clean up the room. If you give me the key back, I'll clean up everything and give it back to you at the entrance. I'll take a moment. Using the back door, I'll be at the entrance before you arrive. Thanks, my good man. You already cleaned up the room? Yes, everything's in order again. Here's the key. Okay, thanks. And you have all the services of the dead man in at your disposal. Like what, for example? The most important one is room service. And following that, the do not disturb. How does the room service work? When the customers call, it is the duty of every good innkeeper to answer. I try to be as fast as possible so as to not leave my position untended. If you don't see me at the counter, it's because some impediment forced me to use the back door. There are a lot of steps to get there. Going down is not a problem. It speeds up my movement, but climbing really slows me down. Thanks. That seems clear to me. What's the Do Not Disturb? It's this amazing object. Only paper of the highest quality for our customers. With the writing, Do Not Disturb, in giant letters. You just have to hang this on the door. And I'll know you don't want to be disturbed. Here, take it. Thanks, very useful. Can you repeat how the room service works? When the customers call, it is the duty of every good innkeeper to answer. I try to be as fast as possible so as to not leave my position untended. If you don't see me at the counter, it's because some impediment forced me to use the back door. There are a lot of steps to get there. Going down is not a problem and speeds up my movement. But climbing really slows me down. Thanks, that seems clear to me. Can you repeat how the room service works? When the customers call, it is the duty of every good innkeeper to answer. I try to be as fast as possible so as to not leave my position untended. If you don't see me at the counter, it's because some impediment forced me to use the back door. There are a lot of steps to get there. Going down is not a problem. It speeds up my boot. Climbing really slows me down. Thanks. That seems clear to me. I saw the stain in the hallway. You have very good eyesight. It blends well with the rest of the upholstery. Well... I'm waiting for the cleaning lady to use her expertise to remove that. I'd like to have a touch of freshness in the air when it's done. I expect that won't be easy. Thanks, and goodbye. <sighs> Thank you. 
I can't open it. It's locked. I don't think I should touch anything. That yellow tape does not bode well. It's sealed. It looks like something bad happened. I'm not sure I want to know what. <laughs>